Hi, I'm Greg Manus. I am a ski instructor here at Palisades Tahoe. I want to talk to you today about something that I don't see many skiers do. It's called separation. Beginner, intermediate, advanced skiers just don't do it. And it really can help your skiing. What is separation? Separation is when we separate our lower body from the femur down against our stable upper body from the hip up. It would look something like this. So why is it beneficial to you to have separation? One, it's going to help you get pressure to the outside ski earlier and greater. And two, it's also going to help you turn those skis from ski to ski much faster. What I see out there is most skiers, they allow their upper body to follow their skis. That means to get your skis to come back around, your body is then turning to come back around. That takes a lot of time. When I separate, I'm able to only work my lower body, keeping my upper body in a stable position while my lower body is moving back and forth. So let me talk to you about body position. This upper body position is called counter. We're countering to the turn. So what does that mean? And how much do you counter people ask? So we've already talked about we're separating the lower body from the upper body. Well how much do you do that? This much, this much, this much, how much? So it all depends on how much lead your uphill ski has to start with. You can see here, this ski is back here, this ski is up here. This is dependent on the turn, how steep it is. And you'll notice that my feet are in a line, my knees are in a line with that, so are my hips, and look at where my shoulders are. They're in that line. So if I'm making this type of turn, this is probably a medium to long radius turn, my body is going to be somewhere between this position to this position. Now, if I'm skiing down through the bumps or making short turns, my skis are a little more down the fall line, my body is just staying here as my skis and lower body move back and forth. The body is staying down the fall line, the hands are forward. So let me tell you about a couple drills that will be helpful for you to feel your upper and lower body be separated so they work independently of one another. This drill I'm going to first show you is called a side slip drill. First thing we're going to do is we're going to put our skis sideways to the hill. So if the hill's going like this, my skis are this way. If the hill is here, my skis are sideways to the hill, okay? Second thing I'm going to do, I'm going to over-exaggerate my upper body turn. We don't typically turn quite this much, but I want you to feel the separation. What I want you to do is put your hands in front of your ski, my body rotated. You kind of feel like your, your hip kind of rotates down the hill. Your femurs and feet are still going this way. Hands are here, and now all I do is put my weight on the downhill ski, and now I just side slip as I'm coming down the hill. Notice how my body is facing the camera, and my zipper is facing as far as I can straight down the hill. Let's incorporate the side slip with a turn, okay? So let's side slip with our bodies facing down the fall line our zipper facing down the fall line, our weight's on the downhill ski, little side slip, we plant the pole, we do a turn, and notice I'm keeping my body and my hands in front of me as I do a turn with a little side slip and a turn with a little side slip. The next drill I'd like to show you is the picture pole drill. What the picture pole drill does is it has you hold your poles in your hands, up your poles, will be the picture frame. Look at a tree down the hill. Your body zipper is going to be down the hill. Your body and your zipper is going to be down the hill. The poles are going to frame it 
and now you're gonna go side slip, side slip, side slip. You can do a little more advanced. Go forward, make a full turn. Notice how my upper body is staying down the fall line. So I have separation. You should feel your lower body move back and forth and back and forth as your upper body is staying straight down the fall line and your poles are framing that tree I've been looking at. With no separation, my upper body just follows my skis as I make turns back and forth. Let's look at separation when making turns. Notice my jacket zipper is pointing at the apex of the turn and my legs are moving back and forth under a stable upper body. Give it a try. I'm Greg Manis. I am a certified PSIA ski instructor at Palisades Tahoe. Come learn to ski like a pro.